If you've created an empty C++ Visual Studio project and you want to use uh, Win32 API, the first uh, thing you're going to get is a linking error. And uh, to fix that, you're going to go to Project Properties, Expand Linker, go to System tab and uh, change subsystem to Windows. Um, and then you'll be able to well, compile and run and build. Uh, the second thing that I want to note is that um, by default, uh, Win32 APIs uh, functions uh, use Unicode strings. So, for example, here we've provided strings, but uh, it, it wants us to use some kind of special type of string, LPCW string. And if we typecast it like that, uh, we'll actually end up uh, getting hieroglyphs. Um, instead, what we have to do is, uh, well, there are two uh, kind of ways to go about it. So as you can see in message box, uh, it kind of expands to message box W, which stands for white string, which is Unicode. We can go about it in uh, two ways. First, we can add uh, A, at the end of this function and it will indicate that we want to use NC uh, encoding. Now NC encoding is outdated so it's better to use Unicode uh, but uh, to make these strings Unicode uh, we have to add a capital L in front of the string to signify that uh, well it's a Unicode string and now everything works. And um, there are a bunch of uh, Win32 uh, functions that use Unicode. So for example, register class and create window X, uh, all these functions use Unicode. So be sure to add uppercase L in front of strings uh, uh, with those uh, functions. If you're new to all this and you just want to create a game or uh, kind of uh, an application with Windows and stuff like that, um, I'd recommend not using Win32 API uh, because it's kind of lower level, right? It's just an interface between your program and uh, the operating system functions. So uh, instead, I encourage you to use some kind of high level library that abstracts all that away. Um, uh, there are only, I think, two um, reasons to use Win32 API. The first one is uh, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, and so there are some kind of advantage uh, that you get from having more control. Uh, and the second reason is for educational purposes, simply to um, learn Win32 API. Uh, in that case, I would uh, recommend uh, the Handmade Hero series. I'm going to leave you with this little kind of game framework that I wrote, Win32 API game framework, um, with which you can create a, a sort of a game, I guess. Um, and uh, that's it. Bye.